Welcome back to Yankees batting practice today presented by Audi. Prior to tonight's first pitch, the Yankees will celebrate New York's legacy of pride and will recognize the third annual Yankees Stonewall Scholar winners for 2021. Yankees Senior Vice President Gene Afterman, Stonewall in co-owner and Gives Back Initiative CEO Stacey Lentz, along with MLB VP Special Assistant to the Commissioner Billy Bean, recently sat down to offer insight, encouragement, and lead an open discussion with some of this year's Yankees Stonewall Scholars. Greetings, everybody. Good morning from the West Coast. Good afternoon to the East Coast. Um, this is a wonderful opportunity for us all to get together. Um, this is our third Stonewall Scholars. And um, in the past, last year, we were all on Zoom and could never meet each other. The first year, we, will, we were able to greet each other at the stadium, then have a celebration at the Stonewall Inn know each other and create lifelong friendships. So we're hoping that we can have a conversation today that will sort of be a hybrid because we're kind of in a hybrid world. And today uh, is an opportunity for you uh, to ask uh, Stacy and myself some questions. Um, so maybe you can get to know us a little bit better. Um, but I, I, I want to say hello uh, to uh, Daniil and, and Ryan and Christine. Each and every one of you made such a profound impact upon me. Christine, what was your first reaction uh, when you found out that you had won? And, and who did you, uh, who were you able to share it with that, that means a lot to you? I just felt like an overwhelming sense of relief. Um, <laughs> um, um, well, in college, I am very grateful for the opportunity. It is very much um, a lot, and being um, being able to get this opportunity has brought more peace to me than you could ever imagine. Um, <laughs> and um, the first person I told was um, my school nurse, Nurse Danielle, um, and she was probably one of the first adults who ever fully accepted me as me um, and like everything that made me me and I wouldn't be the person I am today without her. So I'm eternally grateful for her and her presence. Well, let's say hello to Ryan. You said something that uh, gave me goosebumps, you know, when you said it, you know, so, uh, so wise for your years. You said, you don't need to be related to someone to relate to them. That quote comes from throughout my years of listening to music, there's many lyrics that um, stand out to me. And that's one of the lyrics from one of the songs that I listen to often. Um, it's about, you don't need to be personally related to someone in order to understand their experiences and stand in their shoes. And like you said, that's what allies most likely have to do when they are trying to understand our experiences and any other um, group. So yeah, that's what that came from. And thank you so much too. It's an amazing opportunity and everything. What has it felt like, Daniil, since uh, you found out that you won? Tell us a little bit. What did it, when you were talking to your family, talking to your friends at school, what's been the reaction? Overall, um, it was there. I mean, I cried when I heard <laughs> the first time, uh, so, uh, and I, I am still speechless, just as I was on the first day after I found out. I guess the main question I have is that, um, I mean, baseball is a pretty major sport, and uh, it is quite often very hard to push new initiatives through the different stages of the um, administration, management, and what was it like to push this specific initiative through the whole, um, you know, the whole sports bureaucratic layer? Was it hard? Was it, like, <laughs> what was it like? Our group um, led by Brian Smith and Jason Zillow, uh, my general manager, Brian Cashman and myself, um, you know, what's most important to the Yankees is not just one night, but the future. And so um, also the education of young people, the education, you know, old people listening to young people. So, um, you know, the Yankees thought that it would be more substantive 
if we invested in the future of the LGBTQ plus youth. So once we, once we were focused, once Brian Smith and Jason Zillow and, and, and Brian Cashman, you know, formulated this and discussed it at length with our owner, Hal Steinbrenner, um, you know, then the Yankees were all in. And we were very fortunate to reach out to the Stonewall Inn and the Stonewall Gives Back Initiative as our partners, and also to the um, New York Department of Education. So once, once it came, once the vision actually crystallized, then I, it was very easy to pull together because it really is all about what, you know, for us, the Stonewall Initiative touches everything that the Yankees, you know, want to support and also is an ongoing initiative. You know, you carry the message into the future and that's what's most important. On behalf of the Yankees, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you. You know, every, uh, we, we see you, we hear you, and we believe in you. So, um, you know, go forward. We're gonna, and you're not gonna, you know, you're gonna be Yankees for life. So <laughs> you're not done with us yet.